Well, good morning. We're here in Sydney with Tim Zhu just to have a, a catch up on his preparation for the 22nd of October. Super fight here in Sydney at uh, Star City for the WBC Asia Continental title at Junior Welter. Welcome, Tim. Now, this is uh, five weeks to go before the fight. You've had an eight week preparation. Tell us how that got kicked off. Um, everything's going to plan at the moment. Um, the first, first, um, first two weeks, I decided to go to Thailand for more of a, more of a physical challenge, um, training three, four times a day. Um, it was definitely a challenge. Um, what we did there was train and eat and just sleep, and it was good to get into routine. Uh, now I'm back, uh, back to doing boxing. The last three weeks have just been boxing, uh, trying to get sparring, uh, preparing for, for, my next, for my next test against the Southpaw, Wade Ryan, who's had, has got a good experience, and you know, yeah, I'm excited more than ever. So just on the eight weeks, it's a, a bit of a throwback to your dad's day, mm. uh, eight week lead up to the fight first week he'd go off on his Spartan training camp to lock himself in mentally and physically and mm -hmm. literally drive himself mad for, you know, seven to ten days, then come back and get into, into the grind. So is that part of your plan, following Dad's dad's book? You know, for my, all my last fights, it's all, always been roughly six weeks to a month of just non-stop training, 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 and fight, train, fight. This time I've had a bit of a more, a longer prep. Um, was able to, to do things that I haven't been able to do been able to, to put more power into my punches now. Um, so it has been it has been a bit of a, a longer prep, which makes it uh, a better timing for me. Um, again, Dad did the, the AIS camp two weeks before he started his training boxing camp. So it was good for me to get into, to go to Thailand, to get into a routine, to, to train um, three, four times a day. It just puts you, it, it's mentally challenging as well. But once you overcome that, it, everything else is easy. It's a positive way to start. I mean, you know, it's, and this is a big fight, Tim. This yeah. is a this is a ten rounder, for, and it's a title fight. First time that you, you know you've had a ten round fight. Mm -hmm. You're ready. You're, you're going to be ready to do ten. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm more excited than ever. Um, I'm looking forward to this fight. It's it just it, it's pumping me up just thinking about it. Um, it's just it's the fight that I've wanted. The ten rounder. Um, WBC Continental as well, you know, first belt on the line. So, and it's, I guess, a, a very good opponent. So, I'm here to test myself. Um, Wade Ryan is going to be a, go a good test, but I plan to plan to train hard and end it early. Now, there's a, a few people have said Wade Ryan is a, a, a well-credentialed fighter. He's got mm -hmm. a great record. He's a tough kid. We already know that. And a southpaw. Yeah. So the challenges are lined up. But as we talked about leading into this, I mean, you, you, you've got to step up. This mm -hmm. is your seventh fight. It's been an extremely busy first year. And for, I guess, a rookie professional fighter, seven, maybe eight, we'll probably finish off with eight fights for the first year. It's a lot of fighting. And this one is a little different, as you said, eight-week preparation versus some four, six weeks mm -hmm. and a ten-rounder. So I'm sure everyone's looking forward to this one. It's going to be on a cracker of a fight card at Star City. Um, it's called the Ultimate Fight Night, Johnny Lewis's Ultimate Fight Night. And I understand there's five titles going up for grabs on the night. So it will be exciting for Australian boxing with a lot of new talent coming through. Just on that, Tim, um, seven fights in the first year. What does 2018 hold for Tim Zoo? Well, we've got to finish the year first. Um, next year, next year is going to be um, something new. Um, I'm looking forward to having fights like this because this is what we live for: the the big fights, the the ten rounders, the twelve rounders, the title fights, and just moving up in in ranking and maybe even getting an opportunity to fight for an Australian title next year. Who knows? Um, I'm comfortable in my weight division now. I'm getting into junior middle, so it's 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 exciting because it's, that's going to be my weight division. And again, I'm looking for that national title by the end of the year, or even at the start of next year. There's some there's some good things already uh, penciled in for next year, 2018. That's going to see us continue to move forward, onward and upward, as we say. So, uh, well, I guess from the Team Zoo Two in general, just uh, watch this space. Uh, if you haven't got tickets for 22nd of October, you should get them quick. It will be a sellout. And uh, come along and support Tim. And uh, this will be a wonderful night of boxing and a great challenge for Tim. And uh, just, yeah, keep an eye on, on our uh, social uh, media pages and we'll keep you posted. And uh, wish the young fellow all the best as he moves forward.
Thank you to everyone for all the support. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm able to get all my family, friends, uh, supporters all around Australia, not just Sydney, but all around Australia. Thank you for all the kind words. Uh, thank you to the sponsors. Uh, without without your without your help, uh, none of this could be possible. So I'm very glad for all the support that I'm getting around, and I'm just going to continue to grow, grow, and grow. And maybe in the future, um, I will be the face of boxing.